All right, today we're joined by Matt Shanks, pro triathlete, um, now part of Team Redshift, and we're pretty excited to have him on board. So we wanted to just get together and chat a little bit uh, with him. So, uh, you know, Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about your career highlights so far? I've been racing in triathlon for about 10 years, um, but I kind of picked it up in 2012 when I started doing long course or iron distance um, tries. Uh, I went to Kona that year in 2012, and then again in 13. Um, I was eighth, I think, in the age group, uh, first American, Kona 2013. And then 2014, um, I got my pro card and did uh, Ironman Chattanooga. I was 22nd out of, I think, 40 male pros there. So about midway on my first pro race, I was pretty pleased with that. And then a month later, I wasn't sure how four weeks apart would be racing a second Ironman, but I did um, the Beach to Battleship Iron Distance Triathlon, and I came in four out of 10 uh, pro males with a PR of 844, 843, 8-something, 840-something. So I was, I was pretty ecstatic with that. I mean, those are some really good results. So, you know, obviously you're a new pro, started in 2014. Obviously you've been racing as a lean amateur for a while. What's your background? How'd you get into triathlon? Uh, I lived in Hawaii uh, 2000 until 2007. So I started in 2004. Uh, so that definitely helped. I did a, a race called the Great Aloha Run. It's a huge running race and uh, just kind of loved that. Then a few months later, found out there was other running events and then did tries like a few months after that, got into them. So most people might not know, but you're an engineer. Um, so tell us a little bit about your uh, your education background. Yeah, uh, my education's a little varied. Went to undergrad starting out in athletic training. I kept that but I also added a physics um, undergrad and then went to grad school at Penn State for aerospace engineering. Uh, so that's what I'm working as now, uh, aerospace engineer. Tell us about the first time you saw the switch aero system. It was kind of a chance encounter, actually. Yeah, so I was, I've been riding a, a triathlon bike for uh, the 10 years that I've been in the sport and um, uh, I, I wanted to get a road bike and I was kind of complaining about the geometry difference of a road bike and tri bike and wondering like well if I ride a road bike then is the training going to be specific enough for the tri for triathlons and and about two hours later a guy walks into the shop with a seat post that moves the coincidence was crazy because I was just looking at getting like one of those fast forward seat posts or a zero setback or trying to find like a compromise and then two hours later this guy walks in with the seat post that gives me the option whenever I want. So I was, I was pretty ecstatic to find that. Well, I mean, it's fantastic. Obviously, we're pretty psyched. You're now part of Team Redshift. You're a sponsored athlete. You're also um, an ambassador for us uh, out there, you know, speaking with, with other people and kind of introducing the product mm -hmm. to people. Can you tell us a little bit about how the Switch Aero system fits in with your training? Yeah, so I, I have a tri bike and I do some training on that and I have a road bike and I do some training on that. The Switch Aero system gives me the opportunity to use my road bike and get pretty darn close to my tri-specific training um, when I don't have my tri bike. Uh, so I can ride it in the group rides, which I, I do a lot of group riding. Um, typically I've always been on my tri bike and I, I've kind of just been used to riding out on the bullhorns and getting lots of nasty looks at first. Um, so Matt, what would you tell uh, people that are just getting into the sport? You know, look, they, they see people in aero, they see this kind of stuff, you know, what, what are the right steps for them to take, you know, when trying to go faster on the bike? Yeah. So uh aerodynamics is huge if you don't if you're getting into the sport and you don't know that somebody is going to tell you that pretty quickly and, and what everybody tries to do is say well i want to get more air i want to get lower and narrow or or whatever and um yeah that drops your drag and, and you'll be more aero but if you're if your seat's way back here and you're you're folded like this then you're so uncomfortable you can't put out the same power it, it's just terrible to be in that position and yet you see so many new people doing that um, so I, I think the best thing about redshift is that it moves your seat to where it needs to be it it, it opens up your hip angle to where it, it needs to be you can't just drop your arms and expect your seat to stay the same I mean it, if you're moving your upper body and you need all your muscles to be working the same way you need to move your seat 
So you've been riding the uh, the seat post and the arrow bars for a while. Like a lot of people, when they see the seat post at first, they worry. You know, it's going to move a little bit. You know, how's it going to react? You know, obviously with someone who's a really great cyclist with first hand experience. You know, what's your experience has been with the seat post? Yeah, the seat post it doesn't move. It it stays where you want it to. You can move it easily, and it it stays there. And something people think about the arrow bar sometimes they ask about security. You know, how tight they are they are on there. How do they feel on the bike? You know, what's been your experience? Yeah, you can adjust the clamp to get it as tight as it needs to be. There's there's no problem with that. It stays secure. Um, so, yeah, so thanks so much, Matt. I mean, we appreciate you taking the time to come out here. Obviously, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's raining pretty hard, so we kind of squeezed this in at the end of a day of, of shooting. And uh, check the website and uh, some blog posts and Facebook for some other photos of Matt, um, and we'll have lots of things to, to come in the future. And um, we're really excited to have him on board, so welcome to Team Redshift. and. Uh, uh, we really look forward to you uh, going out and winning some races this year. Yeah, thanks.